Ruthie Neely. I'm the director of libraries here at Swickley Academy, and I'm very excited to welcome you inside to check out the new Cavalier Room. So come on in. So welcome to the new Cavalier Room. We started the redesign process about two years ago, keeping in mind that the way that learners learn today is very different than the way they learned back in the 90s when the first space was first developed. And so we took into account the different ways that teachers teach, the different technology that's available, and the different ways that students learn now. So come on over here with me. I want to show you some of the different seating options that we came up with. So we got these new high top tables, and what I really like about them is that they can be used as individual little workstations, or they can all be put together to form one big table where everybody can collaborate together. One of our goals in the redesign was to think about um, the different kinds of group projects that students are more likely to be participating in now. So whether it's a small group of three or a bigger group of nine, um, there's the flexibility in the space to really do whatever the students need to do. And flexibility was kind of one of the key concepts that I was thinking about when designing this space. So while I was thinking about the different ways that people use space, I realized that there were kind of four different categories of use in the library. There are times when you need to be private and by yourself. There are times when you need to be private with maybe one other person to do something like conduct an interview. And so for those instances, we offer seating like this, where small groups of people can meet together in a more intimate setting. Another common library use is the need to be together and private and together and public, right? So if you're working together on a small project, you might need somewhere more private like a table or maybe you're just brainstorming and thinking about strategies for studying, so something that's public together and public in view of everyone in the library is appropriate. And so for that, we got more relaxed furniture like this ottoman. Again, keeping in mind 21st century learners, so everything has USB ports and power jacks so everybody can be charging their devices while they're working. So as we considered the way students are learning now, we realized that a lot of the transition to access to information has become digital, but that doesn't mean that we don't still value print. So while it looks very different, we went from the traditional big straight line stacks that used to be over in that part of the library, and we spread them out across the space. We actually didn't lose any volume in books. We still have a wide array of print books available for our, all of our students. What's neat about these new shelves is they're actually all on wheels. So again, stressing the flexibility option. Um, so the whole back of the library can actually be cleared out to create a larger space for class meetings, um, house meetings, presentations for professional development. Again, making the space as flexible as possible. The other great thing about these shelves is they were actually designed by people in England who worked with Barnes & Noble and different booksellers across the United States as well as psychologists to figure out what kinds of shelving would most likely draw potential readers in and encourage the kind of lingering that we do at commercial bookstores. So the height, the angle of the shelves, the spacing on the shelves, the way that they create different um, areas within the library is all very intentional to encourage interacting with the literature and interacting with the books more than the traditional straight vertical library shelving. Another feature that I've been really excited about with the redesign are these media stations. So again, thinking about how students learn now, we really wanted to create a space where students or classes or teachers could come together to collaborate efficiently and effectively. So these media stations are great because up to four people can hook up their devices and what's on the screen is automatically projected onto the big screen so everyone can be looking at the same thing. And all you need to do is press the button on the cord and it will automatically switch to the other person's screen. So this way you could be doing research on one person's screen, learning about your topic, and then start working together to create a presentation on the other person's screen. Being able to work together and looking at different screens um, quickly and easily. Sometimes students do need a space where they can be removed from the rest of the above of the library, and so we offer these private study rooms where students can come to conduct interviews, record audio, maybe take a phone call with college admissions, um, anything that requires a little bit more quiet, students are welcome to come and use these spaces. We've made some upgrades to the middle school reading room as well. We got new tables and chairs, again with the idea of flexibility in mind 
These all can be rearranged into dozens of different designs to work together for big group projects, individual work, collaboration, and we also use this opportunity to add more shelving as our English curriculum is changing to be more um, geared towards individual student choice rather than whole class novels. So there's really a focus on continuing to bring in more literature and making sure that students are exposed to it and are developing their um, their sense of independence and self-choice and finding books that they love in the library. So as our library program has continued to grow and become more involved in the school community, we are lucky enough to include one new faculty member and one new staff member to the library department. So now Hanson Library has two full-time faculty, li faculty librarians available to students from 7.30 in the morning until 6 p.m. in the evening. So with having two full-time faculty librarians, students always have access to the help that they need for research, for finding books, for having a place to study. Um, really, we become the, the jack and jacks of all trade to help students with whatever they need. One of the other new additions to the library are these feature stands. Um, this is another attempt to expose more literature to the students. So by having these new feature stands, we can do themed displays, encouraging more reading of literature for fun outside of the classroom, helping to develop that lifelong thirst for literature and learning. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to learn about the design choices we've made in the Cavalier space. I hope you learned something and enjoyed taking the tour. Um, it was absolutely my pleasure to get to share this space with you.